get about 16 of those per game. Yeah, that's best in Big Ten Conference right now is the number of offensive rebounds. And it's because Cloudon can break down the defense so well from the wing. Michigan State, three buckets from two different players. A couple of the buckets from Gaines. She double dribbled. Well, she might have, but they didn't call it. Gulpe that time, taking it the distance. Turning it over. Berger stepping in the passing lane. Michigan State now suddenly getting sloppy with the basketball. What a move behind the back. And Berger takes it for two. The other freshman turn around, won't fall. To McCutcheon, who shoots the three and hits. That's big for Taryn McCutcheon, who has also struggled this year offensively. Very long, just trying to get their feet underneath of them, both teams. Yeah, heavy dose of Big Ten basketball here today. And there's a nice step through move by the freshman, Mackenzie Holt. That's Conley off the mark. She won't be shy to shoot that shot. And on the push, here's Penn. Indiana looking for some numbers. She'll take it inside the lane, and the floater falls. Her last game with Penn, just above that 9.9 .9 that you saw there. But now four players averaging in doubles, and they feed the freshman again. It's Holmes. So much fun to watch during her time in her Big Ten career. A huge roll. Into the corner, there's a three, and knocks it down is A-roll. After the game, I think we're going to have to have a little talk. That little sis <laughs> You're talking about Kayla Bellis, who, <laughs> who got him back. Not little sis, but she got another Indiana freshman with that block. Here's McCutcheon into the lane. Scoop shot is good. Yeah, yeah I'm proud of you. Oh, so. sister love. I love it. To the freshman for three. She's hit a couple of those. A-roll sizing it up. She's played 13 minutes here so far. A player that's Lindsay Merchant didn't know how much she would play. What a move there. Is that Megan Gustafson like? Gustafson. A-roll is short. Gets her own miss. And the kick out to cloud it. Hmm. What a big shot. Advantage for Michigan State. Mentioned they'll get about 16 offensive rebounds per game. Good help defense on the drive by Ghoul Bay that time. This is McCutcheon's shot, and she hits it. Sizing it up, feet set. The leading score for Michigan State. And the takeaway, here's Berger. Off to the races, has Pat Berger if she wants to use her, doesn't need her. That's what Indiana needed to finish the half. Lineups here for both these teams to start the third quarter. Yeah, if you're going to take a this is what we need to do checklist off of the Susie Merchant checklist chart. Off the help defense. A new season high with that bucket. And the first time she's in double figures. How about the end one for the answer? Full time, just about nine minutes in the first half. Wise it was wide open, but Patberg decides to hit the first three-pointer of the game for Indiana instead. Indiana continuing to find success in the paint. Here's McCutcheon for three. That's a deep shot. All the Michigan State players just looking around like, how are we supposed to stop that? <laughs> Here's the freshman inside who kind of muscles her way in. It's another bucket for Mackenzie Holmes. And for Penn to go retrieve. Patberg turning the corner for two. Nobody really slid over to stop Pat Berg, and then she almost gets a steal. Penn going off the bounce, spin move, step through. Holmes with the offensive rebound, and put back in one for the freshman. Muscle it up, McKenzie. Slide out of bounds, sideline out of bounds, really kind of the special teams kind of plays, if you will. Nice move from Holmes. Give her another bucket. Double figure scores for Indiana tonight. Gaines, step through move. Got the bucket, the contact, and one. In the wings by the time conference play comes around. And these teams know each other like wow. Wow. Allen, And one! Flex a little bit, little six. About 48% for the season, but they've upped that to 60% tonight, and layups will help that percentage by Goulbe. McCutcheon. Step through move, beautifully done by Taryn McCutcheon. Yeah, really beautiful. Seen from Victoria Gaines tonight. Pressure coming, Indiana solves it. Papberg leads to a transition, count it! Those are the teams that they measure up and they, they got better. But they've still got some things to take care of trying to generate offense. Clouded now in double figures. A win by 12 against Michigan State here tonight. And the Hoosiers improve to 11-2 overall. They pick up the first Big Ten win of the season.